In today's video, we're going to go over the best Pokemon to solo the latest seven star Pikachu Terror Raid event in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So the Pokemon that we're going to go over in today's video are going to be the best early builds that we've got for going in and beating, soloing this Pikachu 7 star Terror Raid event. Now we covered all of the details already on the channel. If you want to check that video out, I will link it up here for you. It goes over all the details, the movesets, everything that you can expect to see from this Pikachu 7 star Raid event. And it is a lot tougher than what we initially thought. Obviously in our best builds video that we did in the lead up to this event, we did a bunch of builds that are pretty much not going to be that effective going into this one because of the Pikachu putting its shield up as soon as the raid battle begins. Now we did suspect this going into this event but things like fake tears and other status moves like skill swap, gastro acid are just not going to work going into this raid event. So the two Pokemon that we are highlighting in today's video are going to be Lorantis and Meowskarada. Now Meowskarada was the Pokemon that we used in our initial video uh, but I've changed the moveset just slightly because the fake tears like i've already mentioned is a bit redundant we've given giga drain over that slot so giga drain gonna give you another move to use to get to your terrestrialization a little bit quicker so you're not having to go through those recharge turns with frenzy plant but once you terrestrialize you'll be able to go for those frenzy plants and do some huge damage the basic build is with the life orb it has got a grass terror typing and a move set of knockoff which is so important for getting rid of that light ball at the start of the battle you knock it off then the damage is cut in half from the pikachu then you're gonna rely on nasty plot and then giga drain then you can terrestrialize and you're in a healthy spot to do so and then you can start launching either giga drains or frenzy plants off onto the pikachu now the ev spread that we've got for this meow scorada is 252 hp 252 special attack and the overgrow ability here the things that you're going to have to watch out for in the early game before you terrestrialize are going to be the play roughs from the pikachu but because you have used the knockoff the damage will be cut down but it still will be threatening you every time it does try and use that move but that is the meow scorada but getting on to the main build of this video and it is all going to be centered around Lorantis. Now Lorantis is going to be a pure grass type. It is going to have that grass terror typing as well and we've given it the shell bell item. For this build we've went with a modest nature. We have hyper trained this Lorantis as well so all of its IVs are 31 using bottle cap. We have maxed out its EVs using 252 HP, 252 special attack and 4 special defense with the contrary ability which is the hidden ability so you're going to need an ability patch to get this ability if you don't catch one in a terror raid um, and what contra does is every time you take a stat drop it actually reverses that and gives you a stat boost instead so something like leaf storm where you would take minus two after you've used that move it'll actually give you a plus two instead so you're kind of boosting yourself up every time you use an attack with that contra ability now the move set is synthesis sunny day solar beam and leaf storm the basic premise is going in against the Pikachu. You're going to set up your Sunny Day turn one as soon as you can. Synthesis turn two if you need to recover some health or heal cheer and then start launching off those Leaf Storms. After three of them, you should be in a position where you can terrestrialize. You might need an extra turn if the Pikachu kind of steals some of your Terra Orb power. Um, but once you can terrestrialize, you're going to be able to cut through the Pikachu pretty easily. But this is the Lorantis here. As I say, with the modest nature, that EV spread, that hidden ability, and the Shell Bell item. Level 100, of course, as well. So let's go into the raid, and I'll show you exactly how good this Lorantis can be at going in against this Pikachu solo. Okay, so before the Terror Raid battle even begins, the Pikachu is going to throw up its shield immediately, so it's going to have those defense boosts straight away, and it's also going to set up Rain Dance as well and then get a surf off so it's going to get a lot of damage off right off the bat before you're able to do anything but being a grass type Lorantis is going to be able to take this pretty well the first thing that we're going to look to do is set our sunny day up so we reduce the damage of the surf and we also reduce the accuracy of thunder as well thunder 100 accurate when it is in the rain if it is in the sun it becomes 50 percent accurate so that is something that we are wanting to take advantage of first of all now we are going to take a bit of damage we'll be able to survive this turn 
and get a sunny day up. Now, you're in a position this turn where you're probably gonna wanna go for a heal chair. If you go for a synthesis here, you are gonna faint. So the heal chair is something that you're gonna wanna take advantage of in this spot. And then the next turn, we can go for that synthesis because then we'll be in a bit of a better position. And if we get a bit lucky with maybe a thunder miss, uh, we're gonna be in a great spot to try and heal up fully for us to start launching those leaf storms off. Fortunately, the thunder does hit, but not doing too much damage. But we are in a position where we can get that synthesis off here. And um, we do get fortunate with that thunder miss. And because it is 50% accurate because the sun's up, it does help us a bunch. Now we're going to be in a healthy position where we are going to start launching these leaf storms off. And like I said, with that contra ability, instead of getting minus two every turn that we hit a leaf storm, we're gonna get plus two every turn, which means that we can get to plus six quite easily. And hopefully if our Terra Orb energy isn't stolen, we're gonna be in a good position where we can terrestrialize pretty early. Maybe not though, we'll see what the Pikachu does as another Thunder misses. But this is why the Thunder is so important. And also just bear in mind, if you are using this set and this spread and moves and everything like that, then do bear in mind that Leaf Storm is a lower accuracy move, so it will miss from time to time. And that can be quite frustrating as well because it is slowing your progress down to be able to terrestrialize. But there we go, there's the third one. We are gonna be on plus six now. So it's just a matter of time before we are able to terrestrialize and start doing some big damage to this Pikachu. The sun will be running out. It only lasts on the field for five turns. So we wanna set it up again just to reduce the damage of that surf and reduce the accuracy of the thunder and keep that going until we can terrestrialize. It'll just make the battle a lot easier for us. So just bear that in mind. And you can keep an eye on how active the sun is in your battle status screen. You can see here we got the plus six and the sun isn't actually active at the minute, but we can just throw it up now um, as we get pretty fortunate with another thunder miss. Okay, we can now terrestrialize. We are plus six. I would suggest locking in with Solar Beam if you've got the sun active on the field this turn because this will mean that you aren't gonna miss. If you terrestrialize and you go for that Leaf Storm first turn and you're relying on the recovery, the health recovery from the Shell Bell, it's probably not advisable to click in the Leaf Storm. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click in with the Solar Beam and that will make sure it hits and we get pretty fortunate here with another Thunder Mist, which is great. So we're going to be in a good position now to close out this game. And um, we're going to, because we're terrestrialized, now it's really important that we do not faint. We do not get knocked out because if you lose your terrestrialization against this Pikachu, you're not going to be able to do uh, any damage at all to it because uh, obviously you've seen the damage that we've done before we terrestrialize. It's just non-existent. We are going to be able to get this last Leaf Storm off and hopefully this is the last one that we get as another thunder comes out and misses. So if you keep the sun up on the field, you will get pretty fortunate with the thunders. Like it's a coin flip at this stage and that's the best you can do to kind of put the odds in your favor. And that is as easy as it is with Lorantis. And then you're gonna be able to get all of these amazingly good high cost items by just farming the event over and over. And like I covered in the last video, it, once you've done a raid event in your game and you've cleared it, it will disappear and it won't spawn again until the next day rolls around. But you can use a little trick in your game to get the raid event back. If you can see on our map here, it isn't there anymore. But if you hit your home menu, come down to system settings, then into system, then down to date and time. Just make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off. Click into date, just click through it till you get to the OK. Come back into the home menu and then all your raid event dens will respawn and you'll just need to locate the next seven star terror raid event den there it is and then head to it and that is as easy as it gets so that is everything that we were going to cover in today's video i think lorantis at the moment as an early build is the best pokemon that we can take into this raid event to do this event solo in your own copy of scarlet and violet so if you do take this build in to use against pikachu please let me know down in the comment section how you getting on with it or what builds you've been using and what you're finding more success with in this terror raid event i hope you have a lot of fun with this event over the weekend thank you so much for tuning in if you found this video useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye <laughs>